Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this first video in a series, I'm going to show you how to create this Robin illustration, which I'll then animate in a later video. In this video, I want to show you how to create the outline using some tools that we haven't covered before, including the cutter tool, some sculpt tools, and then I'll show you some techniques in edit mode to clean up the drawing. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the fill tool to color it and how to use masks to create the shadows. If you find this information helpful, and I hope that you do because this is the third time I've recorded this video, please like and subscribe to help grow the channel and let's get started. So here I'm in Blender 3.4.0 and I've already got a sketch of Robin in order to speed this up and I did do the sketch in Blender Grease Pencil. So let me open that. So here's our sketch and I'm going to show you how to ink this. So I just wanted to create something really rough just to kind of get me started and then I will refine this on a second layer and then hide the sketch layer. So the technique I want to use for this is I want to draw each line and then I'll extend past where the line stops and then I'll draw another line and intersect those. And the reason for doing this is you can create a smoother line because you don't have to stop the line where the line on the sketch starts. You can continue past it so you don't have to slow down. Then if you go back and clean up the cutter tool it's just a simpler way to work. So right now if I go to the stroke which is selected and I go down to the grease pencil properties, you can see I only have one layer, the sketch layer. So I want to add four new layers. So I can do that by clicking the plus button. There's my four layers. So the first layer, I want to double click on the name and change that to body fills. The second layer, I want to double click on it and change it to body outline. The next layer, I want to double click on it and change it to eyes because I want to separate the eyes and the mouth from the body because those will be what I'm animating. Then we'll double click on the last layer and change it to mouth. So I'm creating this Robin illustration because I thought after doing the Batman mouse substitutions video that I would do a video of him and Robin interacting. So I needed to create this Robin character to do that and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I would create this in Blender Grease Pencil. So I created the body fills layer for the future video where we use the fill tool to color it. So for this video I don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and lock it. I'm also going to lock the sketch layer because I don't want to accidentally select it or draw on it. And then I'll select the body outline and I'll scroll in a bit. So to draw this, I'm going to click on the draw tool and I've got pencil selected. So you can see I've got strength to one and pen pressure is off because I want the line to be solid black when I draw in it. I don't want any kind of opacity in the color. I will go ahead and turn on the pen sensitivity for radius because I may want to make the lines thinner or thicker depending on how I draw and I want to change the radius to 22. Now if I go to the material section, you can see I have solid stroke selected, which is what I want, and it's black. So that should be everything we need to get started. So let me scroll in here. Okay, I'm going to create my first line. And then I want to intersect this one with it. So you see when I draw that, I don't have to stop or start at certain spots. I can just have a free-flowing line and stop it wherever, and then I can go back and clean it up. So you can see how this is working. I'm just drawing each line and overlapping it based on the sketch below. I'll go ahead and speed this up and I'll see you back in a second. I think that looks good. A little later I'll deal with the eyes and the mouth, but for now I want to select the cutter tool and show you how it works. So let me scroll in here. And we'll select the cutter tool from the left. It only has two options. If you look here to the top left, you can see there's a flat caps and a threshold. Now the flat caps is when you cut it, it doesn't give a rounded edge. It gives a flat edge, which is kind of right against the ver nearest vertices. 
So I typically don't leave that on because I like the rounder edge look. And on threshold, this just changes the tolerance for the cutter. I've got it on 10 now, which is probably way too high. So let me put it on zero and we'll see what this looks like. So in order this to work, you just circle what you want to cut. See how that works? I see that cut that line, but let me undo that. And I'll come back to that in a second. I did the same thing there. So let me turn my tolerance up to two. And see, now it no longer does that. So sometimes the tolerance, you just have to play with it to see what works best for your drawing. I'll go ahead and speed this up and I'll see you back in a second. So let me turn off the sketch layer so you can see what that looks like. I think that looks good. So I'll lock that again and then I'm gonna select the eyes layer. I'll scroll in here and draw the eyes. So I'll select the draw tool again. Then we'll select the mouth layer, select the draw tool, draw the mouth. Select the cutter tool. Okay, now I'm gonna hide the sketch layer. I think that looks pretty good. Now if I scroll in, you can see that my line's a little jittery. If I click on the draw tool, I probably could have fixed that while drawing if I'd have went to stroke and increased my smooth here or tried stable stroke here. So those are options for you, but I had some crisp corners here and I found sometimes the smooth option smooths those out a little too much. So I didn't want to turn that on. So I'll show you another option we can use. So I want to select the body outline layer. Then up here at the left, I want to go from draw mode to sculpt mode. And you can see it looked like it changed, but it didn't actually, it's just showing us the lines inside. So I'm going to go to the top and select the Smooth tool. And I'm going to leave the strength at 0.1. And then I'm just going to go over this line. And you can see how it smooths that out. Now I can also tell you by looking at this, if you look down here, our lines aren't intersecting. Same here. So I'll go back and fix that in a minute. But I just wanted to mention that for the Fill tool, it needs to be a closed shape, although there are some gap options that'll help you fix that. So right now I just want to run over my line work so you can see how that's smoothing it out without really affecting my corners. And again, you can play with the strength up here. If it's smoothing it too much, you can lower that. If it's not smoothing it enough, you can increase it. Just whatever works best for your lines. So let me go over the artwork real quick with the smooth tool so you can see how that works. And I'll speed this up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I think that looks good. So the next brush I wanna show you in sculpt mode is the thickness brush. So that's right under the smooth brush. So if I select it and I scroll in, you can see this line's a little thin right here. So I can go over that with my pen. So it really thickens that up. It's at one, so that's really too much. So let me click in here and change it to 0 0.2 and then go over it. And you can see that thickens it up for me. I can do the same thing here at this edge. And that has pressure sensitivity turned on, so you can really control it with your pen. Now if I overdo it, so that's too much, I can go up here to the top and click this minus sign, and then go back over it, and that'll bring it back down. And the last brush I use a lot in sculpt mode is the grab brush, which is here. There are a couple of other ones like Strength, Randomize, Twist, Pinch, Clone, but I typically only use Smooth, Thickness, Grab, and I can also use Push. So the Grab brush does what it says. I can just grab this line here and pull it down. See how that works. So that'll help you refine your line work. And Push kind of does similar. And they have the same options at the top, which is strength and radius. So I just wanted to illustrate that you don't have to have perfect line work when you first draw this, because there are a lot of ways in Blender to go back and manipulate the lines to get them where you want them to be. So don't think you have to redraw something over and over and over until it's right. 
Blender has options to help you polish your artwork. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go up here and you can see like here where this is not overlapping. To fix that, I could use the grab brush here and pull that over. And then go to the smooth brush and clean that up. Then I could go back to draw mode and go to my cutter tool. I could cut that off. But another option I'll show you while we're here is you can also do this in edit mode. So I'm going to undo this and we'll go from sculpt mode to edit mode. So up here we can change the points mode. And with the selection tool, I can select this point and hit G to grab it. And I can bring that over. And now I've overlapped them. And I can clean those up just like that. And now the fill tool won't have any trouble filling this in because those lines are now overlapping. So the same problem here, so I can easily adjust that by just grabbing it. So I just want to show you how to clean this up if you're having issues with the fill tool not working. And there are some other issues we'll discuss when we're talking about the fill tool in the next video. But if you want to go through and just kind of clean this up yourself, you can do it either in sculpt mode with the grab brush or you can do it in edit mode with the selection tool. So before I wrap this up, there are a couple of things I'm going to draw on this that I forgot to do. So I'm going to put some class on his tunic, and then I want to add his Robin symbol. So I'm going to select the body outline, and I want to draw those in real quick. So for the symbol, I want to go to the left and select the circle tool. Now if I click and drag, you can see I can change the size and the width and all that of the circle tool, but that's not what I want. I want a perfect circle. So I'm going to hit Enter to finalize that and then hit undo. So now if I left click and drag with select down, see it creates a perfect circle. But now it's pulling from my starting point and that's not what I want. I want to pull from the center of the circle. So I'm going to enter to finalize that and hit undo. So I'm going to put it here. So I'll left click and drag and then I'll hold shift control and you can see it pulled from the center now and this looks more like where I want it to be. So I hit that, let go, and hit enter. Now say this circle isn't where I want it though. I can go to edit mode, and with the select tool, I can select the circle. I can hit G to grab it, and I can kind of pull it over where I want it. Then I can go back to draw mode. And I'll come back to drawing the R in his shirt. But first I want to draw the clasps. So if I click the rectangle tool or the box tool, I'm going to left click and drag to create a rectangle. And hit enter to finalize it. Then I'm going to go to edit mode. Because say I want this to be smaller. So I'm going to select it and hit S to scale it. And then I'm going to hit X to constrain to the X axis because I only want to scale the length of it. click to let go and I think that looks good. So now I want three of these. So instead of drawing three and having to fiddle with they're the same length and height, I'm going to select it again and hit shift D to create a duplicate. Then I'm going to hit Z to constrain to the Z axis and pull down with my mouse. And that creates a new one. But that's still selected. I'm going to hit shift D again and then hit Z to constrain to the Z axis and pull down. And there's my clasps. I do think I want to move them over and up. So I'm going to select all of them and hit G to grab them. And I'm not going to constrain them this time. And I think that looks good. Okay, I'm going to go back to draw mode. And by the way, I wanted to notice that if you use the rectangle or the circle here, it's still using the solid stroke material. So the strokes will be the same width and color as the solid stroke that we've been using for the line work. So to draw the R, I'm going to select the Draw tool. Okay, I'm going to create my first line. Okay, I'm going to create my second one. Okay, I'm going to create the middle. I'll clean that up in a second. So then we'll do the rest of this. Okay, I'm going to go to the Cutter tool. Clean this up. Okay, I'm going to scroll in to look at this. Then we'll go back to edit mode and we'll select this vertices, delete it, points. 
I'm going to delete this point. And I'm going to select this one in G. Bring that over. I'll select this one. G to bring that down. And I'll select these points and hit G to grab them. I'll pull them over a little bit. Then I'll hit, then I'll select these points, G to grab them, bring them up a little bit. Then I'll go to sculpt mode. With the smooth brush, I want to go over this. Okay, I think that looks good. So that's ready for our next video, which I'll show you how to color this using the fill tool, and then I'll show you the masks in order to create the shadows. So we found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.